Five years ago this week, Mary and I stood before an altar and professed our wedding vows to each other. We stood there and said that we were committing to love and to serve each other, for better or worse, in sickness and in health. People often ask me if I knew what I was getting into when I married someone with cystic fibrosis. I really didn't know. I knew a lot about Mary's CF and we had journeyed through some of her sickness together and during our dating and engagement years. But the five years of marriage that we've walked through have been a season of growing and learning what I meant when I said those words before the altar. You see, marriage is so much more than loving each other. Marriage is a commitment to serve and to sacrifice and to walk through all of life in the same way that Christ, that God loved us through Christ to lay down his life for us. And marriage is a picture of that good news. And as Mary and I have walked through the challenges of suffering and walking through a chronic illness, and for me as learning to be both a spouse and a caregiver, it's been a journey of learning quite simply what the gospel looks like in action. And I am not perfect at this journey. And there's times when walking with someone who is sick is some of the hardest days and hours that we walk through. But as Mary and I reflect on these five years of marriage, one of the most beautiful things is the way that in those hard moments, in the suffering, in the pain, we see Jesus. We see the way that God loves us and laid down his life for us. And at our wedding, we had the passage in Ephesians read where it says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church and gave his life for her. And as I think about loving someone with a chronic illness, that's what, what drives me each day of our marriage. It's not simply the fact that I love her with all my heart, and I do, but it's that marriage is bigger than that. Marriage is telling a story. It's painting a picture. It's putting the very good news of Jesus on display. And that is, is what gets me up in the morning. That's what drives me to sacrifice when I want to be selfish. And there's times when I am selfish and don't sacrifice. And in those moments, God is growing me and stretching me. And I'm thankful for this journey of suffering and this journey of walking through it together. And day in and day out, uh, the, the challenges, the hard moments, the tears, the joys, we have been united in marriage. And as we walk through that, we desire that Christ be the center of it. That our marriage be more than our head over heels love for each other. That marriage be a picture. That our marriage tell the story of Christ loving us. And so, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And for all of you who walk with someone with chronic illness, may the sacrifice, the pain, the hard moments, may it drive you to look to Christ who loves us, who cares for us, who laid down his life for us and gives us his life and his energy and his strength to press on through suffering. And it's in those moments that God grows us and he molds us as a marriage, as individuals, as people with chronic illness, as people who are healthy, God is doing a work in us. And so may our lives be a picture of His love.